This session we're talking about demos, not production, just demos. Lots of my customers and colleagues want to be able to kick the tires on inside risk management, but want to trigger events very, very easily within there. And this session is showing you how to do that in demo. First up, we're going to head over to data loss prevention. We're going to create a new policy, one I've here, created here already called UK Financials. Choose the services you want to trigger on and then go back into that policy, edit it, and then change the low level policy to be high severity and then make sure the alerts are turned on. These need to be turned on in order for those alerts to go inside inside of risk management. Notice as well, we've created this policy as just monitoring, so I'm not gonna block anything for this demo environment. Next up, let's head over to inside of risk management. So we need to turn on the indicators within the system before we create any policies. So first up, policy indicators, these will all be turned off by default. You wanna turn on the ones that are most appropriate from your demo environment. Click save there. Next up, we need to go into policy timeframes. Default activation window will be 30 days, changes to one. And while we're here, let's turn on analytics. This is rolling 30 days, analyzing the audit log and emails going out as well. Pretty easy. Next, let's go into policies. Let's create a new one. So data leaks, data, uh, general data leaks. Uh, we'll give the name of financial leaks, why not? We we'll include all users for this demo environment. I don't want to specify any other settings here. And then we'll pick up the same DLP policy that we created a moment ago called UK Financial. Notice that all of the indicators are now turned on and now we want to customize the thresholds. In order for quick triggers to happen within the demo environment, I might want to change the indicators. So in one instance, it's going to uh, detect that as a risk and then put that as an alert within my environment. So let's submit that policy. And now it's created. And you'll notice that we've got recommendation here. We can ignore that. And you'll also notice when we go into overview, uh, it's blank, so we don't see anything. We need to go in and sign permissions now as well, because global admins don't get default permissions. So if you haven't done this already, go into the permissions area, look for insider risk admins, and then assign the appropriate rights to the individual that you're demoing as. Note that from a licensing perspective, all of the users you're monitoring that need to be triggered also need to have an insider risk management license or an E5 license assigned to them. Next up, let's go into uh, insider risk management. This is a day later, so it may take a number of hours for those incidents to come inside insider risk management portal. Click on the alerts tab, and now we can see all those anonymized users actually triggering data here as well. So we can go into the Activity Explorer, see exactly uh, what happened for this particular incident. And we can click on the collection of files that were downloaded here, and we can see all of those items. Now, in order to trigger these different events, you're gonna have to go and manually trigger these as well. So I've got some test data here, um, and I could download uh, this document to my local machine. Obviously that's uh, being audited as well, so that should trigger as an event. And also I might want to send out an email external to my environment as a, an attachment with that same file as well. So I'm just going to attach that. Uh, attach as a copy. And just so I get the appropriate policy tips up there. And then after a while, I get an email back saying that uh, that message has conflicted with my policy, so I know it works. But just to confirm that, I might want to go across back to the compliance portal, go into the alerts tab, and actually you'll start to see these alerts come up here very, very quickly. So it's not real time. They should appear within a couple of minutes. But this means that your DLP policies are working and then wait approximately another 24 hours for those alerts to populate within the insider risk management portal. While we're in here, we can just look at the policies that have been matched. It's matching the low volume rule. And we can also go into events if you've not seen this before, is we can see the telemetry uh, detailing all those different alerts as part of this incident. So we can preview the file here under the source tab. We can also see other sensitive information types that were picked up. And this is pretty neat. We can go into the file activity and see where this file has been accessed here as well. 
If we click on the actions button at the very bottom, then we're able to see things like uh, trigger a retention label. We can delete it, we can unshare it, we can even apply a sensitivity label to that item as well. That's it for now. Speak to you next time.